What's up YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Gillis the Kid. I'm here again with Mike. It's been almost three months since our last movie review, but this time we have a classic. This time we're going to be reviewing Children of the Corn. Uh, it was written by Stephen King and uh, it came out in 1984. Um, this is what the DVD looks like. It says at the bottom the original that started it all. <laughs> Um, and it, star it stars uh, Peter Horton and Linda Hamilton. Uh, you can uh, tell them where they're from. Well, Hort uh, well Peter Horton, yeah, he, uh, yeah, yeah so, <laughs> so Peter Horton, he's really not that well uh, known, but uh, he played in like a sitcom called 30 something. It wasn't yeah. uh, 30 Rock from the Sun, was it? Not Third Rock from the Sun, Th but, uh, third but rock 30 rock. something. Oh, uh, okay. Uh. And of course, you have Linda Hamilton. And we all know, of course, we all know she is. She was, of course, in the it played Sarah Connor yeah. in the classic uh, ter uh, Terminator movies. Uh, she was in the first one, of course, from '84, and she also did Terminator 2: Judgment Day, which was probably the classic out of all the Terminator movies. Yeah. And of course, she did come back in, in a couple of the later ones. She did uh, was it Sal Salvation? Yeah, well, it was uh, it was the one we seen in, in the movies. Yeah, it was like Genesis or something like that. Um, it I think was, it was Genesis. No, it wasn't Genesis. It was <laughs> Genesis was probably one of the worst ones. Yeah. It was. Um, give me one second. It was yeah. so many. Uh, it's like hard Terminator to tell. movies. Yeah, it's 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 hard to tell. Because I know Salvation had uh, uh, what was his name, the guy that played Batman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, probably was Salvation. Was that the that was the last one, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, no, that wasn't the last. Was that the last one? I'm telling you, there was so many uh, Terminator. I know movies. it's hard. Dark Fate. Dark, dark Fate. fate. That's it was what... Dark Fate. Yeah. Yeah. It was dark. We knew it was. We knew it was. You knew. We knew she came back in one of yeah. them. But it was Dark Fate. Which, which by the way, probably was that was a good movie, by the way. Yeah. And they made her. They did make her a real badass in that one too. So I would check that out. Yeah. So. Yeah. And if it wasn't for the Terminator movies, mm -hmm. um, you know, this would actually yeah. be her her main. Thing, so. Right, and she also appeared. It was a couple other movies. She appeared in King Kong Liz, which was in 1986, and she also did the Beauty and the Beast uh, television series. If right. I'm saying it right too. So, so she had, so she had some other, she did some other roles besides Terminator, and of course, Children of the Corn. So. I saw that, and I was wondering if you knew, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So, the story basically starts off in a small town called Gatton, and uh, it's in Nebraska. So. Uh, Peter Horton, who plays as, uh, what was his name Bert, again? Burt Stanton. Burt Stanton. Bert Stanton. Dr. Burt Stanton. Right? Is he, he's yep. considered a doctor, He was right? a doctor. He was an MD. Right. And his girlfriend, Vicky. Vicky Baxter. Vicky Baxter. Vicky Baxter. Boyfriend, um, girlfriend. Yeah. But it starts off in the hotel, and he tells her that, um, you know, they have to drive to uh, Seattle. Because he had patients. Yeah, he said he got 50 yeah. patients or something. Yeah. Well, technically, don't forget the opening two started in the cafe, don't forget. Right. That's kind of like, who, that's when you kind of found out who the children of the corn mm -hmm. are. They were all, you know, they're all, you know, normal, just eating and everything. And all of a, mm -hmm. <laughs> all of a sudden, uh, you see a couple of the children, they're looking around like, like now their heads yeah. like, yeah, yeah. It's narrated by uh, one of the little kids. One of the kids, <laughs> Right. And uh, you know that's when you first catch on, you know that they, you know they they start, you know they start killing people, and you know they're eating, and they, you know, and they, they choke, and then they all then they, they take the their girls, knives she, out and slash. She everything. puts like the poison in the coffee. Right, one of the waitresses. Uh, that yeah, cause that's that's how that's and that's I like, kind of find out who everybody is. So yeah, uh, that was yeah. The, that was technically that was the opening scene. Then they get to Linda Hamilton and yeah. Horton. So so to so to get to Seattle, they have to drive through Gatton. Right. So. um... They had a fun, yeah, they, it took them uh, quite a while because right. it looked like they were in circles when they were driving around. Yeah. The thing is, they were looking at the map and it didn't show up on the map for some weird reason. Right. Um, but finally, you know, they're driving through Gatton and uh, they come across, um, you know, basically a dead body of that of that boy who was trying to escape. He was trying to escape, right. He was good. He was good. And he was going to take the other, those other two, the other two, the, two of the, the main kids that were... Well, that were normal basically, mm -hmm. and apparently he just he just left them because he yeah. said he was going to come back. He kept saying he was going to come back for them, and he just and he ends up leaving them. And then yeah, eventually you know he's in the you know in the cornfield, and of course you know and he gets whacked with the mm -hmm. he had the suitcase and everything, and then he got whacked and he was dead. Well, then he, you know apparently they had him standing. They they were to make him stand on the road. Yeah, that was the weird part. He was sort of like 
Yeah, like he's wedged like, up. Right. You know, yeah. you don't see anybody. Hold, and the thing is, you don't see anybody holding him. You know, they pick. You know, he was just standing there. I don't know if they just helped. Like somebody put him, and he just ran away, and they were able to keep him still. You know, yeah, he got ran over. Of course, they weren't sure. They thought that uh, Horton and Hamilton ran him over. You know, they ran right. him over, but you know, they thought they killed him. But then eventually, oh, well, so Horton finally went out and he started to check on him, mm -hmm. and then he realized, like, like, oh my God, we know we didn't, uh, I didn't we didn't, we didn't kill him. Yeah. And he found his well, neck he, was slit. Yeah, his neck. Yeah, was when slid. he examined him, he noticed that he was killed before he even came out into the road. So. Right, and his neck, because his and his neck was slit, right? Yeah, and he slit yep. his neck or something. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what kind of. So yeah, he didn't thing. make it. Um, and then they introduce you to um, uh, Malachi. Well, you start right. Then you start to meet yeah. the, the the lead the leaders, right? And of course, uh, Malachi, Malachi, of course, was played by Courtney Gaines, mm -hmm. and he had uh, he had a couple a couple similar uh, familiar roles. He was in uh, the movie The Burbs with Tom Hanks. He played the uh, the, the neighbors, the mystery neighbors, and the you know Hans. Mm -hmm. He was the one that <laughs> he was the one that had the he was the he was the, had like the shorts on at the end. And that's when the guy says, uh, "Hey, where are you going, Pinocchio?" And, yeah. You know, that's when he gave out the sardines. 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 There's a. Uh... And you know, one more thing too. And um, I, I just found out about this. Did you? You saw Back to the Future, right? Right. The scene where, um, where George McFly and Lorraine are dancing at the fifty in the at the dance. Remember when the guy came and uh, he, he like pushes George out of the way and he cuts in front. Oh, that was him. That too? was him. Yeah. I just found, I literally just found out about him. I saw that. His name and, and they actually had his name in the movie. His name was Dixon. So he, right. so he had a small role in that. And I couldn't believe yeah, I saw that. Oh, and I was reading about that. So and that's the one good thing I like about these movies because you can always go back and be like, hey, that's him. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what we're doing. We were, and, yeah. which is true. When I when I when I saw him, uh, you know, eventually when he started making like the the faces and all, and like I called on, I was like, it is it is Hans from <laughs> the Burbs. Right. So yeah, eventually you find out who you know who these who these people are. So. The, uh, one of the other things that I've noticed, uh, there was actually a character called, uh, Isaac, and, uh, he was, like, the preacher boy. Right, he was kind of like the, kind of like the leader, right? Yeah. He was played, who was played by, where is Isaac? Uh, he was played by John Franklin. Yeah. I'm, and I can tell you right now, I'm not too familiar, too familiar with him. He's a really good actor, and, uh, you know, he, he played in, uh, like a couple of other Children of the Corns. There's actually, I think it was, like... Uh, part six called like Isaac's Return. Oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah. He what? Uh, I could be I could be wrong. There's so many Children of the Corn movies. Well, here it says it says it actually says Child's Play from '88, and it says Walk About Chucky. I don't know if I'm not sure what that means. Uh, it says Walk About Chucky, uh, Child's Play. Mm -hmm. huh? so I don't know if he does the one like when he says Hi, I'm Chucky. Hi, ho. I don't know, but that's what it's, that's what it says mm -hmm. for. Um, Walk about Chucky. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means, but it says that. That's what it says in Child's Play. So I don't know. Right. But the he was in. Oh, he was in the Adams Family movies. He played Cousin It. Cousin It. Cousin It. Yeah, ninety one. That thing with the hair all over. I never saw any of the movies. Yeah. I, can't, I can't tell you. So he had a couple of roles. Uh, they, they did one in ninety one and they redid it in ninety three. Yeah, Adams Family Values was the second one. Uh, Tower of Terror from ninety seven. Uh, oh, he was in. Uh, he did. He, he appeared in an episode of Star Trek Voyager. Mm -hmm. Just a guess. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, and then one of the last one of the last appearances he did was called Hell's Kitty. Mm. Played Isaiah. So I guess it's kind of similar yeah. to Isaac, so. So yeah, I don't know, was, I don't know uh, too so I don't know, yeah, I don't know too much of this stuff, but he was basically the one But he who, was the leader, right. Yeah, he, yeah, was, he like was like in leader. charge, right. He was like in charge of the kids. Yeah. So Yeah, it's the thing that amazed me is that you can have a whole town run by kids. Mm. And no one from the outside ever tried to like call or, or visit. Or, right. It's just. <laughs> well, you, and the, I mean, the only other normal person in the movie, besides the kids, and of course, uh, you know, uh, Linda Hamilton and Horton, yeah. was the gas station the attendant. The gas station attendant. Well, you know. Which reminds me of the gas station mm -hmm. attendant from like, you know, all the Halloween movies. Oh, yeah. There's always yeah. like a gas station attendant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got the dog. Yeah, right. Yeah, he had the dog with him. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know if he was crazy or not, but you know, at first, you know, he kept trying to say, you know, he, was saying, uh, he kept cutting the guy. Remember, he kept cutting. Yeah. I don't know if he was talking. Like, we don't, you know, we don't, you know, there's no. We have well, no he was here. We have no. Uh, yeah, he we, wasn't we're crazy. Of, we're, we're, out of, we're out of gas. We have no diesel. Yeah. <laughs> He's like telling everything. He's like he, he wasn't crazy. Yeah. He he sort of had like a deal with the kids. Mm -hmm. So if anyone drove through the town, he uh, would yeah. tell them like, hey, you know, just keep going. That's why. That's why he was trying to get rid of. Uh, like, yeah, I, I know he was trying saying. to get rid of the get, guy. You know, like me, like you know, get get away before they come and get yeah. you. Basically, that's I don't why have any saying, gas. I don't have any yeah. gas. 
fuck with diesel. Yeah. If you want to go to the next, uh, next town's about 19 miles down the road. 19 miles down yeah. the road. <laughs> so and then eventually, yeah, they yeah. actually ended up killing his dog. Yeah, yeah. I remember he was in the they trunk, put the he? yeah they put like the bandana hmm. from the dog. It had like the blood on it in the trunk. Yeah, because they opened the trunk. I yeah. remember he was, <laughs> he was like, I always did yeah. what you said. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on out. Yeah. I'm ready for her. Yeah. Come on out. Why didn't he just wait outside? Like he went into the garage. Right, 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 and there was like six of them in here. Right, they all had their weapons and they were yeah. they were ready. I don't think you didn't see him die though, right? They didn't show him getting killed. Right? They didn't show him getting show killed, him, but he got yeah. killed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you never saw yeah. him again, but yeah. We can assume he got murdered. <laughs> Probably, yeah. They were yeah. they were all ready. They were all ready for him. So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So after that, um, you know, they go into town and right. then they go back to the cafe. Right, that, where the movie, where the movie started. started. Yeah, they went in there. Started. Yeah, they started looking around and everything. And that's you know, he saw um, a couple of people. I think it was a couple of people. It's like, remember they were like they were like watching him or something. Or, well, yeah, they did. That's right. Because remember, that's when they were gonna go. They were gonna t either take his car or something. Yeah. Because remember, he, remember they came out. They chased him. Like, hey, hey, come come back here. Because they had the yeah. dead kid in the trunk. Because they were yeah. trying to find help. Mm -hmm. um, but you know. There's no one in the town except the kids, and they're all like hiding. Like some of them are on a roof and stuff like that. Right. Um, and then eventually, um, they try and like you know steal his car. Well, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's when eventually he yeah. saw them, and that's when they were, they were going out there. And then he, and then dope that they were. They, they started to go, they started to go out yeah, and yeah. follow them or go out there instead of just leaving, just leaving town like which they should have done the should have done the first time. Then they come across. Um, that house that the two kids were in. Right. Um, how did they? Yeah. How did they end up? How did they end up? Uh, the that, was the house, that was the house. That was the house that they played in. No, no, I know that, but I'm saying that they just. I guess when they when they were following them, that's where they they just saw them going to that house. Or? Oh yeah, he stopped and he said, "Oh, I saw someone." He he was like, "I saw the door open." Oh okay. Yeah. And that's when he, that's when he started. Yeah. To, okay, that's when he started to look around. Yeah. They find the two kids. They're in the room. They're coloring. They're oh, listening man. to music. Play, playing Monopoly. Play Monopoly too. <laughs> Play Monopoly. Boardwalk. Oh. <laughs> uh, and. Obviously, you know, it's forbidden for them to like listen to music and stuff, so yeah, but they're still they're, they're kind of doing it secretly, right? right so right. Malachi wouldn't find them. <laughs> um, there, there is there's even a point where like Malachi takes the kids to Isaac and Isaac's, right. and Isaac, uh, the girl, she I'm guessing she was like sort of like a psychic because every picture she drew. It, like right, no, know, yeah. yeah. Well, she had, yeah, that's right, because she had the picture. Well, eventually, you see the picture yeah. of uh, when they were when they captured Linda Hamilton. Mm -hmm. yep. You see the picture. Yeah, because that's when, um, you know, that's when um, Horton went. He went. Remember, that's when he was gonna go, mm -hmm. go finally go out and you know leave her, and he was gonna leave yeah. her there. He says, "I'll be, you know, I'll be right back," and all that. Well, Malachi wanted mm -hmm. to sacrifice the two kids, but Isaac mm -hmm. said she's uh He said she's the uh, you know the seer, mm -hmm. like she can see ahead. So. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, oh yeah, he left her He there. left her there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, he kept saying, I'll be right, kept saying, I'll be right, I'll be right, I'll be right yeah. back. So he left, yeah, he left, so he stayed, so she stayed, she stayed with the girl. Because yeah. the, 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 uh, the boy, he, he was, he, he was somewhere else. He the girl, there. Sarah. Girl, Sarah, that's right, yeah. Sarah and, uh, what was the little boy's name? I think it was like Job or something like that. It was, um, it was yeah. Was like Jacob or Job? Um, uh, Job. Job. Job, yeah. Robbie Keeger, job, yeah. right? Yeah, because remember she said uh, that's what she said to Sarah. Remember, she's like, she said, "Can you, uh, can you, you know, can you like to draw? Can you draw? You, know, you want yeah. to draw something? Draw me a picture. Draw me a picture. I won't. No, no, she goes, eh, we're not supposed to. Oh, yeah. you know, I forget. She's like, I won't tell anybody. She's like, I won't tell anybody. Right? She she drew that's what she, she drew. Draws, she drew a picture, picture of her getting kidnapped. Getting kidnapped. Kid down there. She's like, oh. yeah. And then that's when uh, she was about to go down the stairs. That's when they, the the children come inside. Yeah. And eventually, that's when you know they, they run up the stairs, and eventually they grab you know, of course they grab her, and you know, and they, which uh, which happened, they, they did kidnap her. So yeah, they take her out to the cornfield and strap her up. Strap her up, and, yeah. Um, and that was the other thing. Speaking of corn, that was the other thing they would do. They, they, that was like their trademark. They would leave all the dead corn. Oh yeah, there was stuff. corn. It was like corn stalks everywhere. Yeah, and the red, the cafe. <laughs> Their car, remember they had yeah, their they car. destroyed his car they too. Drove, they destroyed the car. They put the they put the corn stalks on the car. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they they took her out to the cornfield and they tied her up with like the secure. It was like a cop, right? That died and um, and then Isaac's telling everyone about like I, I guess it was like a demon. 
-hmm. out in the cornfield right. that they worshipped, and uh, they had the one they had the one guy in the church. Remember, he was like cutting his chest. We were talking about she, that, right? He was about to drink the blood, and he was saying it's his birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's my birthday. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, he's like talking about happy. He's like, well, it's, it's gonna be my birthday. Now this is. Now I'm gonna join. I'm gonna join or something. He comes into church. What is this? What's going on? That that one girl was crazy. Yeah, they got the curly, the, the, curly, the curly hair. Right, right. right. She was like Malachi's assistant. Something like yeah. that, right? Yeah. Go get Isaac. No, as a matter of fact, go yeah. get Malachi. Malachi. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the the background comments. Mm -hmm. Like Malachi. Oh no. Malachi. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah. So they go get Malachi, and he comes back with like twenty other kids right. to chase him down and mm -hmm. then that's when he met the little boy he's like i know a place to hide right yeah and then also yeah before, before you know remember before he ran out that's when he was saying to he was telling the kids like what are you guys doing are you guys crazy yeah where's your parents at yeah, <laughs> yeah eventually right yeah just, just it's just like you didn't right. figure that out <laughs> all that time you came to the town mm -hmm. like yeah, he started, yeah, so he pushed, he like runs, like just yeah. pushes her, he's like, he like pushes her back away. Well, she stabs right? him too, so. That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, she stabbed him before, before he escaped. Yeah. yeah, he was ready, yeah, pushed her back away, that's when he ran, he ran around, yeah, he ran away. Well, he was, plus the, the job was following him too, I think. Yeah. So I think that's finally, that's when he finally told him, he's like, come on, you know, come on, I know a place. Yeah, he finally got patched up, and then they fixed him. Yeah, the kids. With, yeah, the job other told him what happened in the town. Right. And then he told him where they were keeping Vicky. And that's when they set out to go to the cornfield. Right. Um, Which eventually uh, yeah. they turn on Isaac. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I am, uh, the unbelievers are coming. <laughs> I, I am the one who speaks his word. And then Isaac's like, strap him up too. Yeah. <laughs> strap him yeah. up. Okay, I've, I've shown Malachi. him what I can do. Malachi. Yeah. There is voice Malachi. Yeah, there is voice Malachi. Yeah. Malachi. <laughs> Yeah. So by this time it was night, and then that demon was coming. Right. That's when it went inside. Yeah. I guess it went inside Isaac, and yeah. yeah. So Isaac was like, like it like blew him out of the ground. Blew him out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, it was up in the air. Yeah. Right. And all of a sudden he comes back. Yeah. Malachi. Malachi. Oh, he's, 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 he's like choking. <laughs> he wants you too, Malachi. You too, Malachi. <laughs> he came back as like a zombie. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah it was all it was all different. Yeah. Oh, he broke his neck too. Remember? Well, that's what I'm saying. He was choking. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what happened. Yeah, he choked me. He like, yeah, that's when he had a crack sound <laughs> real fast. Yeah. The kids, the kids got out of here when they seen that shit. <laughs> yeah, I remember that? Yeah, they're watching. Yeah, they're like watching all sorts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this movie reminds me of like the game Resident Evil Four, where like. Leon Kennedy comes to the village and they all have like knives and pitchforks and shit. So, yeah. Yup, so uh, then he, he saves yeah. Vicky and they well, all go out to the barn. Right, eventually he comes, right, that's right, because when eventually come, mm -hmm. right, he comes in and he, yeah, that's when he grabs Vicky. Yeah, well, that's what he did, he knocked, that's right, because, well, him and um, Malachi, they, they fought real fast too, remember? Yeah. They, you know, apparently, uh, that, was, that was before Isaac came in. They were, yeah, they were fighting real fast. Yeah, that's when he threw him on the ground, mm -hmm. and yeah, then that's when that's when Isaac came. That's when he right. choked. Yeah, that's when he choked him. Yeah, and then, like you said, then they all ran, mm -hmm. and they all ran to the barn. Yeah, you know, and they they stayed in there for a few minutes, and that's when they, they when they told him what to do. Well, them. yeah, he asked Job uh, what was the cop doing before. He asked yeah. if anyone uh, was was trying to hurt the monster, and he Job told him that the the cop was trying to uh, you know burn the cornfield. Right. So that's when they came up with the plan with the you know. The oil and whatnot. The oil, right. Was it the oil or gasoline. I think it was both. I think actually. yeah. I think yeah. it was a it was like a combination. Right. He had to straight. He had to get the hose. And he had to put on the yeah. thing, and and then he had to go. But then he had to go. Excuse me. He had to go out to the corn. Yeah. He had to go out to the cornfield. And that's when Job came out. Yeah. That's what he said. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that kid, yeah, yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, a little attitude going in yeah. too. He's excuse like, me. Yeah, he's like all mean. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. He was, Come on, run faster! Yeah, it's like yeah, I was catching on to that too. Like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah, so then he was, then he, then he was telling me, then he was, then he was, being, then he was telling me what to do. Was like, all right, turn that on, turn, 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 turn the nozzles and all that. Yeah. So eventually, yeah, they burned the cornfield. The cornfield, right? All the um, you see all the flames, you see all the flames, and and then you see, I, I think you see more of the devil soul or something coming. Yeah, it was sort of like a smoke, a devil spirit. Or yeah, because like it was coming. Yeah, cause it was getting closer, but then finally, when they turn on the yeah, but then when they turned the, the oil or gasoline on, mm -hmm. right, and it all call on fire and yeah. I guess it destroyed the uh all that soul stuff I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they finally uh they finally walk back to the house with the car. Yes. And uh why 
Yeah, I mean the car didn't run. I don't know why they got in there. Yeah, in the first place. Oh, because they wanted. To, oh, because um, he wanted to grab a map. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. He got in the car. Yeah, he, he went. Yeah. He went to grab a map, and all of a sudden, nowhere. Then you see what's her name coming up. Uh, yeah. The oh, the girl, uh, the girl who stabbed the girl. him the first. Yeah. Yeah, she. Yeah, she was apparently. A, well, yeah, Outlander. Was, was she in the car the whole time? I don't know, but. <laughs> yeah, she was waiting in the back seat. Yeah, because cool. she knew eventually. I guess they had to come they back. Had to come back. Right. So then the. Uh, yeah, Linda he, Hamilton, she takes the door and just yeah, knocked knock, knock her in the face or yeah. in the head or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that's when I said to the kids, "So uh, you want to come? You want to come live with us for yeah. a little bit? About a week, uh, maybe a month." I mean, I'm guessing they adopted the, the kids. The way it seemed. So, well, because yeah. they kept because they said well they said a week and they were like uh, a month. Yeah. That's why I said to myself too. I was like, I, I, I kept saying like maybe forever. <laughs> that would that would be the nice thing to do. Right. Yeah. Give you know, take yeah. care of them. Get, you know. Cause I mean, like all the other kids, there were there was other younger kids, but there was also like other teenagers. So I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe they took care of them. <laughs> the uh, teenagers took care of the other uh, crazy crazy right. kids. <laughs> Cause yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing when they finally did leave the town, mm -hmm. that he would tell someone from the outside what happened there. Yeah, you yeah. wonder. I mean, like you know, because the movie that's how the movie ends. Like, you know, eventually they just take the kids and they just right, they just walk away. Mm -hmm. They leave the leave the car there. But mm -hmm. yeah, and hopefully in the future that's what they're saying. Like, uh, by the way, don't go to the town of Gall Gallenberg, uh, yeah. Gatlin, Gatlin. Don't go to Gatlin. <laughs> yeah, so. There's crazy kids there. There's crazy kids there, and uh, <laughs> they they will kill you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, every time I. Every time I look at cornfields, I think of this movie. Think of the movie. <laughs> and I remember, uh, remember too with the cornfields too. Remember uh, they were always like, opening the path, you know. I guess to walk, you know, to walk through. Yeah, the demon would just. Open <laughs> yeah, you the see corn. the you yeah. see the corns. So the corns were opening up. Yeah. <laughs> and so you could walk, you could walk through. <laughs> It would like wrap itself around your legs too. Oh yeah, remember, <laughs> that's right. Remember, that's yeah. what happened with Horton. Remember when they were trying right. to. Uh, burn the place up. Remember yeah. The, the yeah. Remember the strap. He was getting strapped yeah. in, and that's what that's right. Cause that's when um that's when Job came. I remember he started he started cutting them. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the other thing, that's the other thing too. He's he's rescuing and he's still going. What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah like, he uh, can't uh, move, but he's telling yeah. him to leave. Yeah, that's all I said. Like uh, I just saved your life, you dummy. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. It's like he it's like he would he would have said that to him. All right. <laughs> so. But yeah, I mean, this is one of my favorite movies uh from my childhood. Uh, I can't believe I used to watch movies like this, but mm -hmm. I did. Uh, oh, one of the other things they used to say is, he who walks behind the row. That was like the demon. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, and, uh, I, don't know if I, and I don't know if I said it earlier, too, but the uh, the director by the, but was uh, Fritz Kirsch. He was uh -huh. the uh, director, so. Yep. I'm not too familiar with him. But and the they, director. and just like every other series, they went to town on this one, so. Different versions, right. There's, right. there's a part two, there's... There's three, there's which remakes. is uh, it's like set in the city. That yeah, that movie is horrible. And then they have uh, remakes, like eight five. other Children of the Corn. Right, movies. basically, basically yeah. remakes too. You know, yeah. they do it all the time. Chainsaw. We always talk about like Chainsaw Massacre uh -huh. remakes of that. But uh, if you're a fan of the movie, uh, keep in mind for Chainsaw Massacre, there will be a new version coming out uh, this year. And uh, what was it, February eighteenth, I believe it was. Yeah, and it'll like be right after Valentine's right. Day. Right, and it's just, it'll be ex <laughs> it'll be exclusive exclusively on Netflix, by the way. Yep. So if you have Netflix, check it out when it comes out. Yeah. Looks the trailer looks good. Look it yeah. up. Look it up on YouTube. It looks looks very good. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, so you know, we're gonna drop all the links down into the description. You can check out the uh, other nine or ten movies that came out, <laughs> <Ten> but <laughs> versions. Yeah. This is the original. Is definitely right. one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll we'll probably have some more coming up pretty soon. I hope. Yeah, I I mean, I hope we do. It's been I know it's been a while. It's it's you know it's hard. But you know, well of course with the pandemic and all. But hopefully, uh, we'll definitely start uh, mm -hmm. down the road. We won't take us long this time, and hopefully, we'll we'll, uh, we'll do some more horror movies. Or you know, as always, if you have requests for us, you know, always leave them in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Let us know. So hopefully we have. We're it. back, we'll and we have more to come. <laughs> We're better than ever. Which, by the way, happy New Year, by the way. Since yeah. this is technically our first video, our first yeah. review of of uh, twenty of uh, twenty 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 two. Also, uh, let's also give a shout out to uh, to a good friend of ours, and Nick, who's done reviews with us in the past. Yep. It's his birthday, so we we'll wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nick. Happy birthday. So, yep. And um, 
the the one thing I wanted to say is, uh, you know, with the holidays and with the pandemic and everything coming on, you know, it's going to take some time with the movie reviews, right. but we'll definitely have some more. Definitely. And don't we forget got some more up our uh, sleeves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And also, yeah. uh, you know, you got Valentine's Day coming up uh, mm -hmm. next, next week, if I'm saying right. I mean, at the time, we're, at the time we're doing this review, it'll be next week. But so uh, make sure you dig out my bloody Valentine. Yeah. If you remember, we did a review on that. that that's a great movie. Coal miner, how rewarded. Yeah. <laughs> but that's all I have for now. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. We covered. Uh, I think we covered as much as we can. Uh, what we remembered of it as we watched it. So. Let us know what you think about Children of the Corn. 1984 uh like i said we have some more good stuff coming up and uh and as always we will catch you on the next one peace happy easter